What is good, right? Today we're back with a WWE Ultimate Edition review on the Target Exclusive Legends WWE Ultimate Edition Vader figure. And we have the Chase feature. This is the Chase variant. This is the regular edition. We're going to compare the two when we break them down and unbox them, of course. Do have a really cool figure here. We found this on our toy hunt from the other day. If you guys missed our toy hunt, definitely check that out. It was a very, very big one. I spent a lot of money there, and it would be a fun watch for you. Go over there and check it out. I greatly appreciate it. But we do have Vader here. I think this is my second Vader ever. I don't think I've ever had any other Vader figures in my collection. I think I have one Elite. If I'm not mistaken, but I think that's really the only figure of Vader that I've ever had. So I'm excited to add this Ultimate Edition here. Kind of a guy that I never would have expected Mattel to actually do the Ultimate Edition treatment of, but I'm glad that they did. And I think it's awesome. He's got some cool accessories going on. And these figures are pretty much identical outside of a couple elements. And we'll, of course, dive into that, man. But if you want to grab this figure, it is Target exclusive, so remember that. But here's a front viewing window. It is a store exclusive, so it's going to have the red box as the main color with the white accents. If you guys did not know, main Ultimates have a white box with red accents and then store exclusive and things like that usually have the red box with the white accent so that's how that works but front viewing window looking good interchangeable heads all the ultimate edition treatment looks like he comes with all the standard stuff interchangeable heads championship belt cloth goods that's pretty much your ultimate but you have a nice shot of the guy there on the back you get a nice shot of vader there big man vader there and then we do have the chase variant which looks pretty good as well and i'm noticing some pretty in, like interesting things going on with this chase that we'll get into but nonetheless man we're going to crack both of these figures out of the packaging find out what they're all about and see See how the Ultimate Edition regular version versus Chase version kind of compare to themselves. So here's both Ultimate Edition Vaders out of the packaging, and I'm actually noticing some other differences as I unbox these guys, but what we're going to do is take a closer look at the accessories of the regular edition Ultimate, and then I'll point out some differences. I don't want to, you know, we're not going to treat this like a two-in-one review usually, because that would be just kind of unnecessary, I believe. So what we're going to do is just take a look at the regular edition's accessories, because that'll be the one that's most common, and then I'll showcase some differences between the accessories of the regular and the Chase Edition, and then we will do the same thing when we get into the full body of the figure itself. But my first impressions of this figure are really positive. I think that we have some good stuff going on here, and I'm quite impressed. I'm quite impressed. We're going to take a look at this figure in depth, and I think it should be good, man. But with that being said, let's dive into the Vader Ultimate Edition accessories, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at the big man Vader himself. So here are the accessories you get with Ultimate Edition Vader if you're looking at the regular edition. And I typically like to start things off with the head sculpts, and I think this is a brand new head sculpt. I don't think we've seen this before, but this is very lifelike, man. Am I, am I tripping? Look how realistic this head sculpt looks. Look at the hair. Look Look at the mask and the shiny leather that it has going on, the red. I love this head sculpt. I think it looks so damn good. It almost looks like Dan from Roseanne a little bit. A little bit of John Goodman in there, but I like this a lot. If you want to compare this to the Chase Edition, this is the Chase Edition with the red strap, and you'll notice that his hair is like kind of a lighter red. Am I tripping? It's a little more red in the Chase head sculpt, but these are fantastic. Look how like-like, look how lifelike the eyes are. This is actually an incredible head sculpt. I really have no words for this. And then when you compare it to the older head sculpts that are kind of repainted, essentially or redone look how much cartoonier i guess you could say it's still a really good head sculpt and we have seen this head sculpt before in different ways but look how much different this head sculpt looks compared to this one this one looks so realistic that it's crazy and then you have this one with the kind of wider eyes look or something like that and then you do have the unmasked head sculpt which looks pretty good as well and it's pretty much the exact same sculpt there but i do want to go ahead and compare the different head sculpts to the chase so the chase is the red mask and it's the exact same again but i feel like the hair again is more red Red tones. You get more red tones out of the hair, but I don't hate this. I think they're both really, really good. They did a great job on these. I'm actually kind of blown away at how good all these look, but then when you get into the final head sculpts, comparing the regular edition and the, you know, normal edition, I swear, man, am I, am I crazy? Now the one on the right that came with the regular edition, look, these look like they should be swapped, but I don't know. They look pretty good, and this one, I don't know, his eye kind of get, that eye is definitely wonky. Am I tripping? Look at that left eye. That left eye is a little bit out there, man. He's kind of drifting. Now, outside of that, you do get a WC W Heavyweight Championship, which is very cool. I want to say we've seen this title belt before, but I could be wrong. I actually could be wrong about that. I, I can't remember off the top of the dome, but a very cool championship nonetheless. I like it. I like the gold in here and everything, and there's no difference between this and the other title and Chase. They're the exact same championship, but I am happy to have this in the collection. I like this a lot. Any, If we have seen this before, I don't think I've owned it before, so I'm happy to add this to the collection. I like this a lot, and I love seeing the classic WCW logo. We also get the loose mask. Now, I can't remember if we've seen this before. I'm sure we have. 
have, but I could be wrong there. I cannot remember. I want to say we have five or six, maybe, maybe five elites if you include these ultimates. If you include the ultimate, I think we have five different elites or Vader action figures. But if you compare the regular edition to the chase, it's just the same mask, but in red that we saw on the actual head sculpts. So you guys can see there that this is the difference between the two. Weird shape, and I do believe you can actually plop this over the, you know, the maskless head sculpt, which I don't know why you would, because this, if you, if you plug this on, I know you can, you know, have the, I love the removable mask feature because I like to, you know, if you're doing photography or whatever, you can take the mask off and it can really lead to some cool things. But if you put this on here, it doesn't look bad on there. You know, it's not like a cane situation where it's overly massive. But then when you compare it here, it's like the exact same thing, but sculpted on. So you see what I'm talking about there? You'd say, can you know, you, you, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Now, outside of that too, we have this entrance cape that is very unbelievable. What an unbelievable accessory that we have going on here. You have the loop in the front there and it doesn't unclasp. You just pop the head off, slide it on there, and you have this nice white cape with this faux fur on the back and this tan cream colorway that I actually like a lot. I think it looks really, really good. They did a great job here on this. And they're the exact same between the Chase and the regular edition. You could probably even put this on other characters. It looks that good. But was this not teased way back at WrestleMania 39 when they had all that those accessories at the Mattel Design Center when we saw it? I think that they kind of teased this figure. I think. I could be tripping. Or maybe that was for the Superstars figure. Maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. I, I don't know, man. All my damn days run together nowadays, you know? I'm a father of three. It's it's just crazy. Legitimately, at the time of recording this, we're due any day for baby number three. So it's just, it's just a it's just a time to be alive. What a time, man. What a time. But I love this accessory. I think it looks great. And then for his interchangeable hands, we do get the gloved hands with the fingerless glove, black leather, you know, biker gloves or whatever the hell, man. I used to go and buy these at Walmart. No shishing you. Used to go and buy these at Walmart, like fingerless gloves like this, so I could pretend to be the Undertaker while I was wrestling on my trampoline and fighting my brother. And then we also have the Vader hands, which are pretty cool. Seen these multiple times over before, but I really like the glove sculpt. The wrinkles and everything look really, really good. All right, man, so getting into Vader at the top of the head sculpt. We touched on this head sculpt already, but it's really impressive how lifelike this is, and I really like it a lot. Look how the leather shines, and you got it tying into the singlet. I really like it a lot. I'm not gonna lie to you. It looks pretty damn fire. It kind of reminds me of like a Black Widow or something on his face. I don't know if that's intentional like that, and that's just what it was, or maybe I'm just mentally ill, but I think that that looks really, really good. And I also like this torso choice here with the butterfly joints here. And I think this is a brand new sculpted torso. I don't think we've ever seen this torso with the black singlet. You've got the, these are the arms I'm talking about right here. And even, I think they could go a touch smaller, but these are warmer. This is way better for your mankinds of the world, for your Kevin Owens, those guys. I think these arms are pretty close to perfect. If they're not perfect, they're close to it. I think these look really, really good. They did a good job here. Red stripes down the side with the yellow Vader down the side as well. I really like like this singlet and attire. I really thought that I'd like to chase more, but when you compare the two, you can see here that you have the red face, and then you go down, you have the sort of chevron red down the side, and then everything else is plain black. Like, they have the same knee pads, they have the same boots, but the only difference is the attire here. So you can see that you have the chevron red, and then you have just the plain black with the, you know, the red stripes. But I really like this a lot. Figure feels really, really good in hand, and I really like his boots. They feel solid and everything. This figure is very buttery smooth. His ab crunch isn't the best, but he you get a really nice swivel here. The butterfly joints feel really good. The shoulder articulation feels good. No ball hinge, but you do get a lot of head movement as well. Waist swivel is good. Drop down hip that allows for a good kick forward there, 90 degrees. And you can, of course, do the splits. Upper thigh cut. And while he does have these abysmal large knee pads that I'll probably just end up removing because I can't stand them. They're just, uh, just obnoxiously big. I do think that his knee is very, very bendable. I mean, that, that's pretty damn good. It feels so buttery smooth. They did a great job on this Vader action figure. I, I don't know, man. Like, he's just a pleasure to pose around, and that's always good. And plus, Vader was very athletic, man. And if you want a side-by-side side side of the two characters here... You can see the differences between the two there. And I think I like the regular edition more. I, I thought I was going to be over here, man. I really did. But I think I like the regular edition. But I do want to bring an Elite in here so we can kind of see what we're dealing with. And it is the Royal Rumble Elite that has the Vader Time singlet. This figure right here is awful. Look at these legs, dude. You can't even kick the leg forward. It has that Rey Mysterio kind of modern day 2024 thing going on. And he can kick out a little bit. He can do the splits. But you cannot kick these legs forward. They're absolutely abysmal. So if you have the Elite, upgrade to the Ultimate. Like today, like right now, go buy the ultimate. The ultimate crushes absolutely crushes the Elite. It's not even close. It's actually kind of sad to see the state of this Elite when you compare to this Ultimate Edition. It's not even particularly close in this instance. But I overly am impressed with this Vader. I really coming in, I didn't have high expectations, but I'm actually blown away. I think this guy's going to be able to compete with some of those higher up Ultimate Editions that we see throughout the year. And I know we're nearing the end of the year. We have, a th you know, two and a half months or so left, which makes me want to vomit. But I'm looking forward to that top 10. I'm actually intrigued because I don't 
don't think there's a ton that really stand out above the rest this year, if my memory serves me correctly. I, I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll see how it all pans out. I feel like it's been a lot of heavy stuff and a lot of lower tier stuff, but we'll see how that all pans out. But needless to say, this Vader is pretty damn ultimate. But I think that about wraps up our 2-in-1 WWE Ultimate Edition Target Exclusive Vader Action Figure Review, man, at the end of the day. I like this figure. It feels really, really good in hand. I know we talk a lot about modern WWE figures, or at least the ones that are coming out right now, shipping out. I think that those have been challenging to pose around. I think that they haven't been buttery smooth, but I think this Vader is excellent. This feels really good in hand, and again, it doesn't have all that modern technology. It doesn't have pinless joints. It doesn't have all these crappy things going on. I know it has pinless arms, but pinless arms have never really been an issue. I think this is a fantastic Ultimate Edition. I think it's a really good piece, and I think that in the top 10 Ultimate Editions of the year, at the end of the year, this guy may be standing up there, guys, because I think that it's pretty impressive. I do like what we have going on here. I love the entrance cape. I do love the championship. I like the masthead sculpts. I like a lot of the stuff going on here. Now, between the regular edition and the chase, I don't know how I feel. Like, I thought coming in that I like to chase more, but now after seeing it, I kind of like the red on the sides with the Vader on the side. I don't know. I, I'm having trouble there. I do think I prefer the red mask over the black mask, but I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence. So you guys can let me know what you think of all that down in the comment section below. But this is a really fun figure. I like posing around. I like hefty big figures that can pose around and feel nice in the hand. Just a really nice breath of fresh air and not so stiff. So I really had a lot of fun reviewing this figure and taking care of this figure here today in this action figure review of the Ultimate Edition. Target exclusive Vader, man, but that's going to wrap the review. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts on these figures down in the comment section below, of course. And I look forward to the next Target exclusive Legends Ultimate Edition. I do believe we have Dusty Rhodes coming down the pike. We have a Shawn Michaels coming down the pike. And I do believe we have, uh, I can't remember what the last one was. There may even not even be one announced just yet, but I want to see a Wrestling Machine Kurt Angle announced. I know we have one in the Elite line coming, but I want to see an Ultimate Edition Wrestling Machine Angle. But nonetheless, I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. A huge shout out to our Patreon members. Man, I appreciate you fellas so much. Thank you guys so very much for your support. You guys are unbelievable. And I appreciate each and every single one of you guys so very much on a daily basis. You guys are absolutely goaded, and I love you so much. But I'm getting the hell out. I'll see you guys next time. Almost choked on air, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one. I'll catch you guys later.